Welcome back to LEGO Axis and today we're going to be talking about the brand new LEGO Ideas Night at the Museum that has achieved 10,000 supporters. So in today's video we're going to be talking about the LEGO Night Museum. The Night Museum by Carrie Terry is the latest project to achieve 10,000 supporters on LEGO Ideas. The build is based on the movie trilogy starred by Ben Stiller and Robin Williams. It features some of the scenes from them. It now joins the Mountain Windmill community Greendale Community College, Lego Hero Quest, Brick Quest Studios, House From Up, Animal Crossing New Horizons, Niche Cranny, and Drabant 601 that has reached the second stage of review. Now if we look at some of these pictures, the first one we have got here is obviously th those two characters that are going to perform in these amazing museum set. And it does look really good from the outside, it's got the one where like where Ro Robin Williams would have been on top of his horse, and it also connects to different bits so you can disconnect the actual Lego set so you can move it and curve it in different parts quite similar to Lego Ninjago City in that sense where you can have multiple different parts of the set and use those sets to whatever you want to do so you don't have to just have it as one big block and it's hard to access some bits of it but it does look really really cool and I personally really like it now obviously there is a trailer that I am actually going to play now. Now whilst I didn't play all of the trailer for you guys, this is obviously on someone else's YouTube channel which I will link down into the bottom of the thing but I just wanted to have a look at some of the little sets of the Night Museum. So obviously we've got the massive globe and we've got Larry and Theodore Roosevelt and we've got Dr. McPhee and the woman that he likes and you've got lots of the different like little guys and you've obviously got my favourite trio or no not trio, my favourite duo the Roman guy Octavius and the cowboy Jedia are really really cool in this set and I'm just like the amount of detail actually splits off into four different sections all relating to different scenes throughout the whole Night Museum free movies and all relating to different parts that happen in the museum it's just really really cool to see from the outside it looks amazing and from the inside it looks even better it's one of the best museum things that I've ever seen and I am very confident that Lego will do this as a you know, Lego Ideas set. So, for, for about the project, the person actually put here, as a movie fan, I always try to recreate scenes from a movie. I like using Lego bricks. Being fascinated by the magical world of Night at the Museum has been a real pleasure to work on the, this exciting project. The existing museum is huge and complex, so it was unthinkable to make an exact copy of the building. So first of all, the challenge was to select the scenes or elements from the movie I wanted to include in my project. I decided to keep the most iconic characters from the first movie and to work mainly on the big entrance room in total. The project is built with 2,900 bricks and has the main protagonists from the first movie. So obviously Lawrence, Larry and Theodore and the Hunt and all these different people. Of course you can also find Rexy in the main room. So uh, a famous quote that's already seen is, alright let's do this people and animals and weird faceless puppet, puppet, puppet creatures, what am I saying? I chose to keep the entire build open to make it the most playable possible, as I already said, that is a really, really cool addition. In addition, you can also separate the back of, mu of the museum from the main room in order to access to the inside. Again, that is really, really cool. They will find Octavia's miniature worlds, as well as the spooky tomb of the pharaoh with the magical tablet. I also include Dr. McPhee's cabinet right under the big stairs. That is a really, really cool inclusion. I'm really happy to see. The night is coming to an end and I can't talk any longer with you. I need to regain my pedestal now. Thank you for keeping an eye open on the museum tonight. You managed to put everything back in order again. You deserve some rest now. So that's already, this is basically from the film, the last film, where it was a very sad to see Ron Williams' last film and it's Smile My Boys. It, smile My Boy, it's Sunrise. So it, this set is a really, really cool. It's my favourite LEGO idea set that I have seen so far. Obviously, LEGO Hero Quest set that I've already previously talked about is really cool, and other sets such as this. But the Night at the Museum set 
deserves its own video and it is a really really cool set that I personally can't wait because I am will be astounded of Lego do not recreate the set and I will definitely buy this hit set. Thank you for watching yet another Lego Access video that I've been making. We're coming up to 60 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe and make sure to like. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone. And just a little matter that obviously lots of things have been happening in the world recently with Black Lives Matter and other such. So if you want to support or do anything like that, make sure to go to the relevant websites and I'll put one of the websites below where you can donate to other stuff. I'm just, it's quite astounding what's happening in the world right now. And I thought that I would put it in the description on this video something that is happening here but make sure to like make sure to subscribe and yeah we're coming up to six subscribers the growth on this channel has doubled in the last month than ever before and it is astounding and amazing to see so thank you guys bye